What's up guys, I'm Laku, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another guide video for Crow Castle. Today we're gonna go through something I've promised to do so many times now that I think it's long due that we go through it and be done with it. And the thing is, what we're gonna talk about today, what I'm gonna uh, give you a little guide about maybe is the Monster Lab. You will unlock the town quite early in the game, and you can purchase purchase the buildings as you progress the game through the game. The first question that people seems to be asking is the monster lab. Uh, is it worth it? Should I buy it? Should I should I use the up, uh, should I use the crystals to upgrade stuff? Uh, what you do in the monster lab is that you can select a weakness for each monster and. Applying the weakness costs crystals, so that's what that's what the people are asking. Is it worth it? Should I be using my crystals to apply weaknesses to monsters? And this would be no brainer. The, the obvious answer is yes, you should be doing that. That's probably the best way you can use your crystals after you have promoted all your heroes you are using. And after after you have done researching the weaknesses, you can continue with uh, upgrading castle parts and skipping ways, whatever you want to do with the crystals. But so, we are going to go through the monster lab, we are going to go through the, the monsters here. There's a few basic rules in monsters and what weaknesses you should apply. And in general, those are the number one. If it walks on the ground, pick fire, melt it with fire, kill it with fire. That always works. And if it flies, take lightning, lightning. And shap those flying cancers. And if you can't pick either of those, uh, critical damage is the viable choice, most likely the best best choice you can get get for them. But yeah, let's start from the beginning. Let's go through all the monsters and all the weaknesses I've been using. Again, this is these are my my opinions. Some opinions may vary between the other players, but this is what I've been using the past like 300,000 weights or so, and it's been working quite well. So I think I think my opinion is worth at least something, and I hope it's worth at least something to you guys. But let's start from the beginning, the first monsters, the weakest monsters in the game. So for the slime, no brainer, you can pick fire damage, so take fire damage. You can only pick one. If you apply another weakness, it will just override the previous one. So you can only pick one one weakness for the monster. So pick 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 carefully. And keep that in mind. So fire for the slime. Same for the zombie. The fire damage. You can choose that. Take it. And the catapult, obviously fire damage. And this guy actually has fire weakness, so you, you will be boosting that even further. This means it has 10% weakness to fire and it has 20% resistance to lightning. Uh, on a side note, why fire? Because uh, most likely you will have some area damage dealing fire damage, uh, fire windy, flame ogre, fire wizard, or something like that. And if you're in the Early parts of the game using the witches, Dorothy and Alice will be fire, so you will be boosting their damage as well. And in the beginning you will be using the flame bow for your town archers, which will make them fire based and which will also help help for the for the damage for killing the monsters in the extra damage with fire weaknesses. Cobalt, fire, no big deal. Uh, this guy can't get any fire fire weakness, so Critical damage is what I'm using. I guess you could use like lightning damage or something if you are using uh, lightning sorcerer, for example. Does a huge deal of damage in my in my waves currently, so that could could work potentially. But I'm I'm, I'm picking the critical damage because uh, in, when you start using the cursed knife for your town archers and you can max level that, that plus the sharp arrow equals 100% critical chance for the town archers, so you are boosting every uh, every arrow they shoot by 10%, which is really, really huge damage. Town archers are really great damage dealers in the game. The Dark Elf. It's funny we have Dark Elf here, and as a hero as well, they look quite different. Fire damage, no big deal. This guy can't get, can't get any fire, fire weakness. Again, so critical damage. It actually has a little resistance to fire. It's not a big deal, though these guys are not not that tough to kill. Attack rim, fire damage, which is weird. He has resistance, but you can pick fire. That's that's quite a weird. Duck hunter, 
Again, we have the same as a hero. Uh, fire damage. The orc, fire damage. Let's continue from the, this, this row. Uh, TNT orc, critical damage, he can't get any fire, he has a pretty high fire resistance. But uh, this guy, there's so few of these, they're not really a uh, really huge problem. They do explode and do pretty pretty awesome damage, but um, otherwise they are quite easy to deal with. Critical damage is a good choice. Now the Harpy is flying one, so lightning damage. They have a lightning weakness, they have fire weakness as well. So for the, for the flying guys, generally you want to use the lightning weakness. Because you will be using the Lightning Sorcerer, the Lightning Tyrant, the Lightning Tower and so on. And they will do extra damage to flying monsters already, so you want to boost that even further and further. But if you are using... Uh, if you like using Fire Windy for the waves... A lot, if you like to use, use her to kill the, the flying monsters, I guess you could pick the fire damage as well. I don't really fancy, fancy Fire Windy myself. Too unreliable to my taste. And it's only one hero with the fire damage. Fire damage. But uh, it could be a viable choice, but I'm picking Lightning because that's the safe, the safest way and I would say it's the best way to go. Same for the Grim Archers, really annoying guys, so they actually have fire resistance, so Lightning, 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 Lightning. A Bettering Ram. These guys also have fire weakness, they are wooden, so it's, it's kind of natural they have fire weakness, so let's boost that even further. And for the Tauron, a mini boss, he can't get any fire weakness, so we're picking critical damage again because because the Tauron archers will have 100% critical chance. Plus, your uh, Dark Ranger will most likely be your most efficient mini boss and boss killer in waves. So you wanna boost her damage if you can, and she doesn't deal any elemental based damage, so critical damage is gonna boost boost her damage as well. Uh, or cannon, same for here, can't get fire damage, which is pretty weird. They look wooden as well. They do have a little weakness to fire anyway, so that's fine. Critical damage is what I've chosen for these guys. The Jebelin, uh, lightning, they do have a great fire weakness as well. So if you're using fire windy to kill the Jebelin, that's that's a really viable choice if you like the fire windy again. So then you could, could possibly do the fire damage. And if your fire windy is so overpowered, he can basically just one hit the Zeppelin. That would be the most optimal thing, but I guess it's quite quite hard to achieve. But I'm doing it the uh, lightning again, again because of my lightning sorcerer and lightning guys. Blah blah blah. Same shit all over again. And we only have the bosses left. I'm trying to go through quite quick, so this won't be a one hour long video. Uh, critical damage for all the bosses. They cannot get any fire. Uh, sorry, they do. They can get fire, fire weakness as well. But I we can pick the critical damage because, as I said, your Tan Archers and your Dark Ranger will probably be the most, the guys dealing the most damage to bosses, to mini bosses. So I'm boosting that as far as as far as far as I can. And that's it. That's for the Monster Lab. It's quite easy. To figure out once you get used to it. But remember, it's really, really, really much worth it. And you can always, if you think you picked the wrong one, you wanna check, check the, the other, other, other weakness as well. You wanna check. Oh, can I do fly lightning for this guy? You can always just uh, overwrite the, the previous weakness and try another. It's just a few, few crystals. That's not a big deal. It's not gonna be a big deal if you're playing this game for more than two days. That's for the Monster Lab. I think next time we might be able to do a hell run. I haven't decided yet if I have time this week to actually record it. They took a hell of a lot of time. But we'll see. Maybe we can do that. It's gonna be coming coming soon anyway. You guys asked me to do a hell run and maybe multiple hell runs, trying a little different kind of builds. I don't know. I'll have to see how much time I have. But thank you for watching, if you have any questions regarding the Monster Lab or the game in general, feel free to ask in the comments, I'm happy to answer as always, and... 
you can always subscribe if you haven't done so. That will be a huge thing for me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video and take care. Goodbye.